Hi children! Today I'm going to read you a new story, Corrector, by Tommy Ungerer. I want to thank the Harper Collins publishers for giving me the permission to read this book. Crichter. Once upon a time, in a little town, lived an old lady. An old lady. Her name was Madame Boudou. Oui, c'est français. Madame Boudou. She had one son who was in Africa studying reptiles, snakes. See, he was in Africa studying snakes. Yes. One morning, the mailman brought her a peculiar O-shaped box. See this box? It's got an O shape. Madame Baudot screamed ah! when she opened the box. It was a snake that her son had sent her for her birthday. Yes, it was her birthday. To make sure that it was not poisonous, Madame Baudou went to the zoo hmm? and she identified her snake as a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor, see? Ah, this looks like my snake! Boa constrictor. Madame Bodo mothered her new pet, feeding it with bottles of milk. My little snake. She also bought a palm tree. Can you see it? Hmm? So that Crichter, yes, Crichter, that's the name of the snake, could feel at home. And as dogs do when they are happy, also Crichter wagged its tail. See, it's wagging its tail. Well-fed Crichter grew longer and longer and stronger and stronger. Hmm? It gets longer and longer and longer. The boa followed his mistress when she went shopping. Everyone was astonished. Oh, look at that snake! Oh, it's so long! Yes, it's so green! Hmm. Madame Baudot knitted a long woolen sweater for her pet to wear on cold days. <laughs> Here, see? She is knitting a long sweater. It looks like a scarf, but it's a sweater. And Crichter also had a warm, comfortable bed. Look how long it is. 
There he would dream happily under his palm tree. In winter, see, it's winter. There is snow on the ground. In winter, it was fun for Crichter to wriggle in the snow. Madame Baudou was a teacher, yes. She taught at the public school and one day she decided to take Crichter to her class. See, here she is. Here's Madame Baudou. And here is Crichter among the children. Soon, Crichter learned to shape the alphabet on his own way. S is for snake. E is for elephant. N is for nothing. Nothing. See, there's nothing here. O. O is for oak. Yep, this is an oak tree. L is for lion. M is for man. G is for glass and w, w is for whale. He could count too. Yes, he could count. Two is for your two hands. Three is for the three little pigs. See the three little pigs? One, two, and three. Four is for four legs of a dog. One, two, three, and four. Five is for your five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. Six is for the legs of a bug. Can you see them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is for the seven dwarfs. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight is for the eight arms of the octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the eighth one? Oh, maybe it's around here on the other side. We can't see it, but it's, they are eight. So the boa constrictor helped the children play. He liked to play with children, see? Now he's being a slide. Whee! Down they go. And he also liked to play with little girls. See? He helped the Boy Scouts learn to make a knot. See? He's helping them. Crichter was indeed a helpful snake. Oh, my kite, it's stuck up there. Can you please go and get it, Crichter? Certainly. And he just went up there to fetch the kite. Okay. But one day, in a sidewalk cafe, this is a cafe, see, where you go, have a little cafe, a little croissant, something to eat. 
Madame Bodo heard from a friend at the next table, see, she heard from a friend at the next table that there had been a series of thefts in town. Yes. Oh, you know, Madame Bodo, be very careful. There are robbers. And they come in your house and steal your precious things. And that very night, the robber broke into Madame Bodo's apartment. Madame Boudou was already gagged and tied to a chair. <gasps> See, the robber tied Madame Boudou to the chair. But her faithful boa constrictor, that is, Crichter, furiously attacked the robber. And the villain's terrified shrieks, Oh, help, help a snake! Oh, no! <clears throat> Awoke all the neighbors. Everybody woke up and helped Madame Boudou. They called the policeman. Hmm? And Crichter remained around the burglar until the policeman arrived. For his bravery and courage, a nice medal was awarded to Crichter. Let me show you. See, he got a medal. Huh? He got a medal. And Crichter even inspired a local sculpture to make a statue in his honor. See, here's a statue in the honor of Crichter. And the city dedicated the park to him. Park Crichter, loved and respected by the entire village, Crichter lived a long and very happy life. <laughs>